Let us kneel and pray for a favorable day. I heard the Kidwani are marching! Uh, Run to the gate! Heap of imbeciles! Your compass Things will get so hot! Good. You'll see! You don't I stand a chance against him. I can feel it in my knuckles. Yes. Sultan, prepare the main gate's defences. I'll cover the wall. The defence will be so strong, Hensel's stick will go limp. Shove off! You're quite the general, Zoltan. Why not call me a bloody marshal? Sass has got it into her head, it's either me or Yarpin. We drew straws, and I lost. It's good you're up. Hensel will be here any minute. Why? Would he be disappointed not to see me? He'd be bloody depressed. Hensolt's experienced at waging wars, too. Experience, my arse. Once they stand beneath the walls, we'll douse them in hot oil and set them ablaze. Just do your part, and Kidwenny heads will fly like fattened horseflies. The Kidwenny are coming! They multiplied or what? Time to give them a taste of hot oil. There are valves in the cauldron sides. You need to clear them. I'll take the left side, you get the right. Second gate, or they'll kill us to a man! Fall back. Around. To the walls! Like a shot! At once, brave leader. Hold the lines! Show them how Adernian soldiers fight! Upper Adam! Saskia! Oh, I can't win! 
Repel those Kedweni rags. They won't give up easily. They'll return if they're thick as bricks. To find bricks falling on their heads. Another assault is coming! Get ready! The day will be ours! It must be! Upper air down! Saskia! wasn't easy, but seeing those ruffians run was worth the effort. They'll be back. They're as stubborn as a dwarven farmer. <laughs> but their balls are much smaller. I need your help, Butcher. I'm hearing that more often lately. Seems you're irreplaceable. Listen, tunnels run beneath the town and connect the keep with the dwarven mines. Who knows about them? Almost no one, but I decided to secure them anyway and sent a detachment of scouts. None of them returned. Then I'll take a little excursion beyond the town walls. Now's the perfect time. Hensel's men lick their wounds like flogged bitches. They'll need about an hour to regroup troops and set up formation for another assault. Let's not waste time. I'll come with you. I'd rather you assigned me an able troop of men. I won't reform ranks now. This formation is effective. If they don't strike suddenly from the mines, we should hold through the siege. You're in charge. Lead on. Let's hurry. You surprise me more and more. I thought witches stayed out of politics. I'm not interested in politics. Yet you stand on That's our side. army. I stand on Zoltan's side, Jorgen's. Would you join them if they fought under a Kedweni banner? No dwarf would fight for Hensel. I'll take the lead. Stay behind me, Saskia. A chivalrous witcher. Another surprise. The world's upside down.
My lord, we'll soon reach Bergen. You'll take them by surprise. Vergen is in danger, and the Virgin of Edern roams the caves with a witcher. I understand. Your cherry is aching, and thoughts turn to pleasure before death. Kill them. I know a woman is flighty, but to that scale? Now you know my greatest secret. I had no choice. They would have killed you. Now I understand how you could combat such a powerful toxin. Philippa is a great sorceress. Even she couldn't have saved you if you were human. You're a witcher, so you know a lot about us. Only golden dragons have the power to assume any form. My father was a knight with bright eyes. He treated life like a beautiful adventure. He loved humans and tried to understand them. Thanks to him, I believe every man is equal and liberty shouldn't be peddled. Father claimed the world to be filled with chaos and order. Chaos equals aggression. Order is the defense against it. What happened to him? He taught me to live among humans and moved on. Dragons do that. A dragon appeared during the siege of the Lavalette's castle. I was helping Arian Lavalette. Why? He fought against tyranny and its transgressions. I understood him very well. Vergen could have used someone like him. Does anyone else know? Deathmold. I meant allies. Jorvith? Jorvith invented the whole Dragonslayer story. He believes Eden needs someone like me, and someone like me needs a legend. He was right. If a dragon helped Vergen's defenders, Henselt wouldn't stand a chance. I thought about that. But what would happen to Epper Eden when the dust settles? You can't foresee everything. You know how the world treats freaks as well as I do. But if Fergan falls, your ideals will be vanquished. Maybe averting that is worth the sacrifice. Let's for a moment assume I revealed my dual nature. Who would lead Upper Eden? Do you see a replacement for me? It's hard to imagine one that compares to you. Dwarves will support their own candidate, elves theirs, and humans will start looking for a king. That's why I must ask you to keep this knowledge to yourself. We'll have to deal with Henselt without a dragon's help. And we will, also thanks to you. I'll never forget what you're doing for Eden, no matter your reasons, Witcher. Let's go. The defenders need you.
What happened while I was gone, Zoltan? The fun is about to begin. Herdsman Hedzolt personally leads all his cattle here. We'll win. Is that all? Ah, we've got unexpected guests. Who? I think one of them's a she. Ugly like shite after winter, but she's got tits. You should have seen our lads' faces when those eyesores entered the courtyard. Did they say why they want to help us? Wizard good. Wizard's foe is Troll's foe. I met this pair. They can be of use. Good. We want to create a land without prejudice. When news that Henselt will personally lead the assault spread, the spirit of our lads fell into the gutter. Tell them, Zoltan, that if they don't believe in victory, they might as well fly a white flag. I tried, but they still look down. Gather the defenders, Zoltan. Why so quiet? I thought you'd be merry. King Henselt himself will honor us with a visit. We're all going to die. We can't repel the attack. Henselt is invincible. We won't be fighting mere minions, but their king. And the king himself will have to recognize our victory. Could a soldier dream of better than defeating a monarch? Or maybe you're afraid to fight. Maybe we should fly a white flag. It's so simple. Henselt will quickly set up his order here. Inns will be marked humans only. Dwarves will choke in the mines. Elves will perish, hunted in the forests. Lords will slaughter peasants because they didn't bow low enough. Is that the land you want to leave to your children? No. Never. You're shitting bricks because Henselt is coming. Who is he? A god? No. He has arms, legs, and blood, as red as any of ours. If he dares to cross these walls, then we'll gladly spill some of it. Yes! Get Henselt! Long live Saskia! Many of you won't see the light of dawn again. Many won't return to your women or drink with friends. But we will care for and honor their graves when they enter the earth. A Dernian Earth. Those who survive will live with their heads held high, for only such a life makes sense. Now, to arms and to the walls, let's show Henselt real war! <laughs> for this siege. Freedom fighters in an uneven battle, noble in their suffering. It all depends on your point of view. I helped Jorvik. I gave him my trust. I joined Saskia and took the side of the rebels, their new values and ideals.
time will tell if I was right. One thing is sure. Elves are the best archers who have ever walked this earth. Yorveth, that's what I call an entrance. I have to admit, the squirrel has style. Not all is lost. We need to cut off Hensel's escape. What are you talking about? He looks as if he likes it here. He'll change his mind. Join Yorveth and shut the main gate. Yarpen says Death Mold's magic damaged it. Yarpen knows fuck all about gates. Cover my arse and I'll close it. The fate of the battle hangs on it, Wolf. There's no bloody gate that Zoltan Chive can't close. Yorvith, we need to get to the main gate, now. Admit it. You thought I wouldn't come back, Windblade. You're hellishly good. We need to stop Hensel from retreating. And then force him to try it. There's no time to waste. To the gate! Cut off like sitting ducks. Maybe they'll surrender. Sire, your orders. We surrender. The battle is over, King. 
You won, and the victors state their terms. You know my terms. You will relinquish Eden and sign an act of unconditional surrender in which you'll promise your troops will never cross the Pontar. Is that all? You'll pay war reparations and recognize the free realm of Upper Eden with Saskia of Vergen at its head. What about me and my men? What awaits us? Freedom. It's a great thing. Look how many of my soldiers died defending it. How much do you want? We'll discuss the war reparations in detail at Loch Muin before esteemed witnesses. There's one thing Saskia didn't mention. I'm listening. Since the dawn of time, wars were, are, and will yet be. One side wins, the other loses. But military conflict should be carried out under chivalrous rules and laws. What's your point, sorceress? War criminals, including Death Mold, must be punished. I need an advisor. War criminals must be punished. You'll have a new advisor, Sheila de Tanzerville. Has this witch gone mad? It's a necessary condition. Deathmold committed a crime and he must be punished. As you wish. Execute him. Don't allow them to harass me like a dog. You'll see how a real sorcerer dies, foolish whores. Swear an oath, and you'll walk free. Who am I negotiating with anyway? Philippa Eilhart and I speak with one voice. Be wary of the sorceresses. They often forget whose perch is higher. Philippa is my advisor. We await your decision, King. I, King Henselt, Lord of Kedwin, swear before witnesses that I will relinquish Adarian borders. I recognize Saskia of Vergen's reign in the realm of the Pontar Valley, and I swear to pay war reparations in the amount agreed upon at Loch Muin. You're free. Show the king the way out. <sighs> it's time to go, Saskia. Yes. I don't like it. What? Saskia. I know her well. She's never behaved like that. Her eyes look as if she's taken Fistech. I assure you, she doesn't use it. Let's follow them. They disappeared. A teleport. Let's search Eilhart's house. She was in a hurry, maybe she left something. Let's take a look. Jorvith, over here. I've got something. What is it? A tome of potion recipes. We've no time to read books. Sorceresses carefully guard books like this. Not that carefully. After all, she left it behind. She was in a hurry. Could this book have anything to do with the Dragon Slayer? Most things in this land seem to have something to do with Saskia, the dragon. How do you know? She told me. Then keep your mouth shut, Gwynblade, because if... I know what will happen if they learn, Yorvith. I've found Thaumador's recipe. Eilhart already told us the ingredients for mage pain. How is it relevant? Usually the recipe for an antidote is right next to the one for the poison. I can recite it exactly. Royal blood, an immortal, a dragon's dream, and petals from a rose of remembrance. Yet this book doesn't even mention a rose of remembrance. I recall perfectly that Eilhart said a rose of remembrance combined with an immortal heals the mind. What if she lied? Maybe it doesn't heal the mind, but influences it. Philippa passed the flower to Saskia through a kiss, the symbol of love and perdition. I'm confused. I think Philippa subjugated Saskia's mind by adding the rose to the antidote. I'll kill that bitch. 
Philippa has magic and an obedient dragon at her command. She could have a strong influence on the conference. But what does she want? We can only learn that in Loch Muin. Let's go then, Gwynblade. Geralt! Saski has disappeared! People are getting riled! Dwarves, too! Saski is spellbound. Philippa controls her. You're shitting me. I knew something was up. I could feel it. She ordered Deathmold executed. No trial, just like that. A gesture from Philippa is all it took. That bastard deserved it. I wouldn't be surprised if Zoltan had ordered it, as vengeful as he is. But Saskia? Where is she? Philip has taken her to Loch Muin. I'm going after Saskia, with Yorveth. Everything suggests those responsible for Foltest's death will be at Loch Muin. Some still say you killed him. I've got to stop that drivel. Don't have a choice, but you do. The elite of the North is gathering at Loch Muin. I couldn't forgive myself if I wasn't there. It'd be a sin against art. The art of poking your nose in others' business. You'll be needed here until Saskia returns. Order must prevail, there can be no strife. The victory over Henselt was an important step, but only the first on a long road. The hymn I composed could help. Virgin will need many more songs. I certainly hope our paths will cross again, Geralt of Rivia. Stop dramatizing. You can be sure of that. We've got unfinished business of our own. Huh? Oh, I... Let's go then, Gwynblade. Sheila de Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Vergen was free, yet what is freedom without its awareness? It might too easily pass from hand to hand were a nation to lack individuals capable of pointing the way. I remained in the Pontar Valley. That is the task fate seemed to assign me, to safeguard freedom as it budded and bloomed. Who knows, I may yet prove freedom's bard. Yet forever feeling a vast, shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. <laughs>